if the heart were to pump blood, think for a little while, if the heart were to pump blood, you wouldn't be here at all. Because you didn't have a heart for 20 weeks in the mother's womb. Who pumped blood? Now the madam is saying, ah, ah, ah. the heart cannot pump blood. It's a 300 gram muscular structure. And you have 8 lakhs kilometers of capillaries into which even an RBC cannot flow easily. What is this? Now physiology. This was your heart when you were in the mother's womb. There were no heart. It was two dorsal vessels. Now you all teach your students, the heart pumps blood across the right. Right or wrong? Correct, no? If the heart were to pump blood, think for a little while. If the heart were to pump blood, you wouldn't be here at all. Because you didn't have a heart for 20 weeks in the mother's womb. Who pumped blood? Now the madam is saying, ah, ah, ah. Do you think you didn't think about it earlier? No, now you think. Now I want you to think something more. And that is, this water is very interesting. Very, very interesting. And that water keeps you alive. Now this, these two tubes, your own passing water, that is water is blood. But unfortunately, blood is not just water. Blood has colloids and suspensoids. What are colloids? You all know, right? Electrical charge, atoms, which are either anions. Anion means one extra electron. Or cations, one electron less. Now, very interestingly, this is how you are living because the cations, same, they, you know, repel each other. The anions repel each other. So your blood doesn't clot. Now, if the blood clots and you die of a heart attack, do you know our treatment? We give rat poison, warfarin. Warfarin is rat poison. Did you know that? The same poison you give every rat, you give in a small dose to a man. No, you don't have to do that. You will have to just drink water with a different pH. You can alter the pH of water and drink the mixture of water. Then the anions and the cations get activated. They'll never clot inside the vessel. Clotting has to happen only when the vessel breaks. But inside the vessel, if you have to clot, your blood has become very thick. You've eaten so much. And you've not drunk water at all. And the water you drink is not the right variety. If you drink the water here, this, you know, this is just, what is this? Chlorine. You just boil this water and drink it, you really get chlorine smell. And you call it as mineral water, you pay 90 rupees in a five-star hotel. <clears throat> so what does the heart do? Have you seen this? Bathtub, you have seen it, bathed in it, but not observed it. Today you go to your hotel, let some water there, put the stopcock. And when the water is to a certain level, stop the water, pull the stopcock, watch the water. It goes, 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 you don't see it. When the end comes, boom, it, that's called whirling. And the whirling gives it energy, and that energy makes the water flow. So in the human body also, the heart cannot pump blood. It's a 300 gram muscular structure. And you have 8 lakhs kilometers of capillaries into which even an RBC cannot flow easily. So it requires 142 horsepower for one pumping. So first pumping itself, the patient will die. So you're all alive here. That means it's not pumping. What does the heart do? Have you seen anatomy here? Heart muscle is a peculiar structure. It's got a twisted muscle. It's called higgledy pigledy muscular. So what does the heart do? It gives it a twist. So from the swimming pool, through the veins, the blood is sucked into the heart. Not does not flow, it is sucked positively into the heart. And then it gives a twist, and it moves on to the artery. And then with whirling, 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 it goes. I'll show you. See, this inside the vessel, if you see, this is how it flows. Not laminarly. You're teaching your students, laminar flow of blood. If you really understand laminar flow, the outer lamina doesn't flow at all. The inner lamina flows a little faster, inner still faster, inner most fastest. Now you give a vasodilator for lowering the blood pressure, what happens? Nothing happens. Only the inner core runs a little faster and kills somebody. That's all what happens. <laughs> this is very interesting. It should have come first. This slide came later. Recently, somebody did 3,000 original studies in medicine to show what we are doing to the patients. See that? 
more than half, 60%, are not of no known effectiveness at all. And the beneficial is only 3%. Can you believe that? 3%. That means 97% of the patients, you send them to meet their maker in heaven.